Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Diecast channel. And today, I'm going to show you uh, something pretty insane that I, I didn't even know I did. But first, let's walk through the new haul. So I've seen this truck sitting at uh, the store for way too long. It's, it's, a, it's a peg warmer. I don't know why, though. This, this whole setup is really sick. It's a 61 Impala with, like, a, you know, Chevy C10 from, like, the same era. So I, I can't believe this car was still up on the shelves but i just i just couldn't like not buy it this time around so we've also picked up a land rover which is a uh, pretty sick i don't know if the windshield actually folds but uh, it is folded down for this casting and a 57 jeep this is called the fc it's a uh, pickup truck i i do love these i have a blue one i believe still and uh these cars are gonna go well, up on the ceiling, I have a nice Jeep collection, but someone bought out a couple cars from it, so have some cars now to throw back up there, which is pretty sick. And there's a dark green variation of the Land Rover, and then we got the blue variation of the FC. So, now we're going to come back down here. I do have this uh, ice charger from the Fast and Furious movie. We may have already gotten this casting before, um, almost in the same exact style, but... I could be wrong. It's cool that they release these every once in a while, though. This is from The Fate of the Furious. We do have this uh, 2024. It's a Valentine's Day edition, which is kind of sick. kind of really like this. Little Red Express. Um, and it just says on the side, Will you be my Valentine? So that's pretty cool of Hot Wheels to release. Next up, I wish I could find more of these. Absolutely just beautiful car and casting. This is such a sick Audi. Would love to own something like this in real life. Uh, not huge on the Euro cars. This is just beautiful. It is an 87 Audi Quattro. Then I picked up this uh, 2010 Camaro. Um, not too crazy about the casting, but I do have a little Camaro collection going on, so it can go there. And will be up uh, for sale at some point. And then lastly, that brings me to this yellow BMW 507. So this is the regular mainline uh, version of the car. And so, a couple weeks ago, they released the Gold Civic, and I guess um, I came across the gold one of these and, and just didn't think anything of it. And that gold one, uh, I was I was seeing, uh, when I picked this one up, I was like, man, maybe that gold one of the house is a super treasure hunt. And you guessed it. What a, what a crazy buy. I just picked it up because I just love the gold and um, did not even realize it was a super. I see the tread on the tires now. But uh, it's got kind of boring wheels, unfortunately, but very, very sick casting. I, I don't know if this is something I'm going to hold on to or sell. Um, I mean, I, I'm always down to trade Super Treasure Hunts that I do have for uh, Nissan Super Treasure Hunts. But uh, oh, it's, it, always, it always kills me a little bit to get rid of Supers because some of them are just so sick. But the same 822 graphics, just this one in the circle has the TH... It's got the real rider wheels. They're a little bit nicer, but not they're not really anything too crazy, honestly. Um, it's probably the only downside of the car, but I, that gold paint is phenomenal. That gold Spectra flame. So that is very sick. Kind of the highlight of today's video is accidentally buying a Super Treasure Hunt. And also, that brings me over to a couple other cars. If you're looking for anything at all, I sell mainlines at $2 a piece, and these will all be on... Uh, online essentially for sale so if you ever see anything i have and you're curious about if it's for sale or not uh always worth an ask because i just do a ton of buying and selling and trading hot wheels but uh wanted to give you a quick look at the haul today and uh what a, what a crazy find without even realizing it well i checked this out what a shame uh, that's what i thought exact same car this one just isn't a 50th hot wheels anniversary edition so it has been a few years since i released it but doesn't seem like there's much difference besides just the wheels. Uh, the backing car is a little different, but that's about it, honestly. But that's okay. We'll throw it up here anyway, just because it does have the different wheels. Little look at my Fast and Furious display. We talked about this last video, I believe. <clears throat> but now you can get a little bit more of a up-to-date. Oh, look at that. We've got a car hidden back there. I guess I should replace that probably with this because this car is so just already up there. All Fast and Furious stuff, though. All the way down. Here, this is my Nissan wall. We'll have to really get into this at some point. This wall is insane. Uh, this one's signed by Hector from Fast and the Furious. And I also have a signed picture from Jesse from Fast and the Furious as well. But uh, just a couple hanging around down there. All right, guys, really quick. I wanted to give you a look at a trade I am making. So I'm going to be trading 
This BMW 507 Super Treasure Hunt that we were just talking about. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, also, this Datsun 510 uh, Double Pack. I am going to go make the trade, and I will describe to you guys what I traded each car for. And you'll have to let me know if it was worth it or not. But uh, I, think it, I think it definitely is. What is up, everybody? So, before I show you the trade, I am going to show you my latest Hot Wheels haul. Right here, we finally hit a semi-fresh restock. Uh, funny enough, the guy I met to uh, trade Hot Wheels with actually beat me to it. So, I'm sure there's a couple other cool cars in this set that I haven't seen yet. But, uh, this is a DeLorean. New take on the DeLorean, or DeLorean is actually going to come back. We will see in the near future. Kind of one of those things where I have to see it to believe it. This is super funny. This is a literal Pontiac Aztec. Like, this is what Walter White drives. And, uh... Just, just funny to see, but it is a custom, and it, it's pretty sick. Spoiler, there's a little little whack, but it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool nonetheless. Never thought I'd say that. we got a red Corvette Stingray, a 2015 Jaguar F-Type. It says it's the Project 7. This one had a really good color scheme. It was why I grabbed it. This says it is a Mazda AutoZam. It's a Hot Wheels Legend Tour winner. This this whole box just is just cool, honestly. Like... The way, the way this just sits in here, it is massive. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do flips inside the <laughs> box or not. It's so huge. Um, we got the Mustang Funny Car. We got a Mazda Repu. It is one of the Ultra Hots. These cars are a little pricey for what they are, but it is cool. I guess uh, they started putting the cars that are in the case on the uh, background card kind of justifies the three dollar charge i did pick this one up to actually give to a friend who owns a 1970 amc javelin in this color his has a couple other uh custom features but basically just throw it in my collection until i see him at the car shows maybe i'll grab a clip of that for the maiden channel in the future then over here we got a 57 chevy it does say bel air down the side of it which is a really cool i wasn't gonna grab it i saw it and i was like oh, i gotta grab it it's something i would let go from my collection at some point we got the nissan patrol uh i do like the patrols the fire and rescue setup isn't too crazy but it is nissan so grabbed it for the collection um and we did get this beautiful nissan skyline rs it's the uh r30 and it is sick black and red just cool right here we got a 67 chevy c10 i did grab a couple extra of these because i know uh when it comes to selling trading and buying hot wheels people go crazy over them so i do have some extra cars there that'll be up on the store um i got this sick ford gt40 just just cool really is beautiful blue paint this is a uh, definitely a keeper in the collection 70 plymouth barracuda red with the gold wheels we got a el camino this one's a 1971 purple obviously we're biased on this channel having a purple truck uh, uh myself and then this aston martin db5 and uh that will bring me over to the trade so i figured i'll start small and we're going to talk about what i traded for the dots and 510s so i traded the two dots and 510 pack combo pack for this uh liberty walk and nissan skyline i've been seeing these go from anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars i had the 510 pack listed at 25 dollars. i probably spent about 15 on it and he probably spent about seven bucks on this so honestly all in all we both made out great on these purchases and trades uh 100 this car is sick though it is a literal liberty walk r34 super silhouette nissan skyline the detail in this car is insane. I missed out on this when it was released, I believe probably like a year ago. Uh, it could be a little less time than that, but I think this one's a little bit older uh, drop that I just never saw in the store. But uh, insane to have this in my hand. Um, then, this is also a car that we traded for the gold uh, BMW 507. Now, I didn't only trade for just this alone. This was just thrown in. I actually also got these two box sets which are awesome we'll run through those in a second though uh right here we have this nissan skyline 2000 gtx um i have not seen this one in the stores yet i know this is coming out beautiful art design but uh all the cars in this set are going to be nuts i will be grabbing all of those it's just one of those things where hot wheels is dropping these at three bucks a piece i'm sure so you know or almost four and they're, they're they're like it's like basically having mini premiums but they're hard to sell for five bucks a piece so I figured, you know, why not throw it in with the trade? So we wanted probably five for this, and he wanted 20 a piece for these, which I thought was a great deal because these also go for 25, 30 bucks a piece online. 
And now let's jump into it. You can't just get these at Target either. This is something that you legitimately like would have to go to like a bookstore to find these box sets. And I just never came across them. So this one was released first. There's a list of the cars, but let's dive in. You get this sick art design. I don't even know where I'm going to put these in my collection yet. Gives you all the names of the cars. You get an FD Gretty RX-7. You get this Nismo Twin Turbo 300ZX. Like, probably one of their sickest releases. Literally has the Nismo badging on the hood of the car. You get this Subaru STI, Toyota AE86 Corolla, the Mitsubishi Evo, and the CRX. And this is just like, what an outstanding set to have. I, I don't even, like I said, I don't even know where to put it. Then we come to this. And it was just, it was just one of those things where I didn't want to pass it up because I haven't come across these boxes yet. And uh, I'm not going to flip them, but I was getting more value than what I had. So I just, you know, all around, so worth it. And right here, we have the other six pack car set with the Civic Type R. I believe you could get this as a regular main line. You also get this Nissan or Datsun 240Z. So, so, so cool. I love it. A little wide body on there. Like they did a great job. Usually the custom Zs, yeah, it is the custom one. Usually we'll have the mirrors and everything. Um, most Hot Wheels cars don't have mirrors, so it's always cool to see. You get the older Celica from the 70s. And then we get the gold wide FB RX-7. We get the uh, STI hatch and this skyline r30 as well um i do believe you can also get this as a regular mainline too so this one isn't as hot in that aspect but for these four cars even this one you might be able to get but even for these three cars if you can't just get them um kind of sick and uh i could be wrong about these but i believe you can possibly this one might have different wheels but these two i believe like i said you guys main lines but i think that's going to do it for today's video guys let me know if these two and this was worth the trade for the bmw 507 super treasure hunt i had it listed online for about 45 dollars and if this was worth the trade for the Dotson 510 two pack like i said i haven't come across this i had three of the Dotson 510 two packs that was my uh, last one I had available for purchase. And so I, I think it was just a crazy trade. But these go for a good penny online. And especially with our uh, newest drop. Going to get all this stuff in my collection. And uh, if you are interested in any Hot Wheels cars, uh, message me on Japanese underscore mini truck 2. And uh, let me know what you collect. Um, and I really don't mind shipping you out a buyer cost. So thank you all so much for checking out today's video. If you want to see some more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.